would like to ask you a couple of questions about about the work, about the work process, and about what it is. Um, so maybe we should dive deep into into, into the central question. It's an opera about time. Um, now you could say that music is anyways always dealing with time and manipulating with time. In what way is this opera specifically about time, Jennifer? <laughs> Can you say something about, I know this is kind of the, the um, impossible question, but... It's on many different ways and on many different levels. Maybe I can start by just talking about the musical aspect yeah. first. Mm -hmm. So um, what was really important to me right from the beginning was that I get to work with fantastic musicians like MC who um, combine careers who where they write their own music that's maybe fixed but they also are very very strong free improvisers because in terms of this idea of manipulating time like we can't manipulate time you know we, what all we can do is maybe invoke certain types of opennesses to temporal states in the bodies of the people in the audience and I think free improvisers know this very very acutely because they're completely aware of the energy in the space when they're improvising that's not to say that um, you know when a violinist is playing a Bach partita they're not aware of the energy in the space but we have more leeway you know John Corbett the free improviser in his beautiful book about free improvisation he talks about how uh, free improvisers build something together in space and time and so that was really important right from the get-go for me with that we had people who who were used to that and, and who believed in that that, 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 that it was w that free improvisation has something quite unique and special in it. Yeah, so you want to create in the piece sort of this an openness to an experience of time mm -hmm. and have uh, what I understood is also let's say different type of experiences of time that mm -hmm. flow into the piece and that are sort of combined in the piece. Exactly, exactly. Because you have, I mean, you have the, everybody comes in and they've, you know, the gig starts at 8.30, mm -hmm. so people have probably eaten their dinner, they've maybe had a drink, it's a Sunday night, you know, maybe they're, they stayed up at Progress Bar <laughs> until 5 a.m., maybe, you know, they just got their period. Well, you just don't know. Everybody's in different, completely messing, messy, sorry, messy cycles. Most people's circadian clock isn't 24 hours long, it's about 23 and a half hours mm -hmm. long, so everybody's in a different place and so what we try to do is at least create space where people can sort of step into into different versions of different temporalities with the music yeah. and there's so is it also in a way that different players in the ensemble that you've put together mm -hmm. uh, represent sort of or, or have a different entrance to different experiences mm -hmm. of time I mean I'm looking at Martin Schmidt now <laughs> and I know that in a previous interview you're Jenny, you were talking about how you and MC Smith are sort of inhabiting in the piece the, the, the extra fast, the, the hyper fast time of mm -hmm. contemporary society. And of being a television presenter sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah>. Even that. <laughs> Imagine. Yeah, there are times when this thing has seemed about 20 minutes long mm. as we did it, and times when it seemed about three hours long. Mm -hmm. I prefer the 20 minute version, <laughs> but they're all actually about the same amount of time long. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's kind of different how you also how you feel with time. Mm -hmm. Sure. Because you sort of, are you really like working on like short bits of information or short um, sound motifs, whereas for instance, Lee Patterson who's uh, working more on geological time, like long drones and... Um, it's true. I am not an improviser that deals with long drones. I, I like action. I like more of a boxing match yeah. than, uh, than a meditation session. I sort of feel like my time is being wasted if I'm being asked to, my time ho, 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 is being wasted if I'm asked to sit in a venue and listen to the cars outside or whatever. I feel like I've heard cars before. Can we move along here? And uh, I think there are definitely, I know there are other improvisers in this piece that feel quite differently about that. And I wait very patiently for them. Jenny, how do you, how have you then accommodated all 
those differences within the piece, or how are you bringing that <coughs> together? To well, the whole point of free improv is that you try to play with people who are generous and y you know, like give each other space and and stuff. And so I, I very deliberately wanted people with very different approaches because if it was just me and you and two mm. people like us, it would only be five minutes. It long. would only be five <laughs> minutes long, and people would feel like they mm. the, the strobes have been flashing mm. in their face the whole time. So, so I think that's the one thing about pre-improvisation I think is really special, is people have different personalities, different approaches, and so you just try to make a community where everybody has a role to play. So, you know, I really need Lee to slow me down. Y you know, like Lee is like grounding, mm. Anya grounds me, you know, in, in, different, in very, very different ways. So, so I like having both. I, I think it's, mm. it's really nice, and it means that at times we're forced to sort of be patient, <laughs> mm. do you know, and then at times other people see that we have a value in the fact that we can do a lot of things very quickly. Yeah. And Timothy, you're yeah. also in the piece. What are yeah. you, you, what is your role? Well, talking of, talking of meditation, I'm actually sitting on a meditation cushion. And uh, what I love about it, and perhaps I should first of all say that I'm deeply honored and sort of humbled, embarrassed, and excited to be part of this, and in particular, to have experienced the incredible open generosity of my composer friend Jane over here. And, you know, I think that one, one of the good things about having, you know, whenever I hear the word philosopher, I actually hear the phrase absurd clown, you know, and <laughs> funny enough, meditation is a bit like that. You know, when you meditate, it's like you're in a clown costume holding a glass of water, you know, there's a certain feeling of exposure. And I think it's quite good in terms of, if you wrote some of the words, you don't want to be like this sort of Svengali-like being behind the scenes. You want to commit and actually be, so you're sort of responsible for something. And also, for me anyway, thoughts and concepts and, and time indeed is all, 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 always have a sort of feel to them. You know, to some extent for me, time is time and feel, you know, temporality and all that. And like, in the same way, you know, there's no such thing as a sort of naked thought in the void. And so actually having, you know, a sort of thought feel is how it's, is, is how it seems to me, you know. And, uh, you know, it's also a, a, a fantastic challenge to be actually kind of embodying just being my body on, on stage with no, particular, with no particular agenda. And actually the work Time, Time, Time is called an opera, so there is text as well mm -hmm. and it came together because sort of Jennifer you and Timothy yeah. teamed up yeah. with the idea of creating an opera about time yeah. um, can you say that like most of the text is written by you or how did that process of generating text gosh how did the process about? of generating text <laughs> we, we, we you know what we did we spoke about once a week or every other week about gosh was it even two years since, or a since year and like a half we first met like since 2016 yeah, since yeah. sort of later in 2016 in November 2016 and you know we just made friends with each other you know I mean there's a way in which this I I could be like I'm supposedly paid to be sort of right about the things or whatever or, or sort of what and, and, and that doesn't seem like a good idea you know, um, and so it was more to do with just sort of vibing with each other and keeping it to do with emotions, really, you know. I mean, it was a very different, yeah. I think that if people think, oh, and the composer will collaborate with the philosopher, yes. you know, they feel oh. that there will be a lot of mansplaining yes, going on, indeed. and I can say zero mansplaining oh, <laughs> from, my, from my perspective. <laughs> oh, thank goodness for that. No, but also that sort of I think that a lot of it was like a friendship building yeah. that we were just chatting about things, and yeah. and it's also facilitated yeah. by the web because we can Skype. Yes. We're not yes. in the same country, yes. and we'd be texting each other and saying, yes. "Oh, I'm in this dinosaur." I mean, yeah. I went to a lot of natural history museums, yes. so I was like, "Tim, another picture of yeah. dinosaurs." <laughs> like, great. Yeah. But no, so it was sort of constant back yes, and forth yes. so it wasn't like this formal this yeah, formal yes. relationship that people yes. so for me it was much more fluid you yeah, know it, it, there was a lot of trusting right and sort of yeah. trust is a time thing 
right? Like it's to do with, like, I don't know what, what's going to happen next, but I'm just going to let it be. You know, there was a point when Jenny said, off you go, start it, whatever, the, whatever it is that you're going to start. And so I started it, you know, and, and, and it was so sort of lovely and open. I love working with, with, with Jenny because she's very good at letting you go crazy in the way that you just do anyway. <laughs> But I, I should also say, like, Tim wrote a lot of text. There was a certain point where I said, if we spoke all the text oh, yeah. <laughs> without stopping, yeah. you know, we... So, so yeah. j over the yeah. course of the week, like... Yeah. It would be you know, really long. Uh, it yeah. would be, yeah. it, you know, it yeah. would be just hours and hours and hours. So yeah. we, I mean, we worked... There's an awful lot of text that we worked through in rehearsals yes. that you finally, as the days went on, you took paper out of your binder knowing, okay, we're not mm, going to be using that. Mm, so, mm. And I could see when Tim said time feel, you were like nodding because you're like, mm. yes, I... Yes, I embody those words. That <laughs> <laughs> I did change it into feeling, though. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Uh, that's all right. Yeah, no, you know, the word... We mouth haven't feel. talked about this. The word, the word mouthfeel has really bad mouthfeel. Uh, right? Yeah. You know, so, I mean, I'm using this word... It has a, bad you know, mouth feeling. Yeah, you know, yeah. It is a bit gross, isn't it? Feel. My first book of poems is going to be called That Feel When. Oh, whoa. I, 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 I haven't written any of them, of course. I, <laughs> I may not even write the book, but I think it's, like, it's a good title, isn't it, for a book of poems? Well, but see, I would change it into feelings, so they, they, which so I they, did. Yeah. <laughs> so this I'm is so glad like you a, did. a good you know, example yeah. for also yeah. how to collaborate yeah. Yeah. with, yeah. Yeah. because you came in like yeah. much later. So yeah. uh, you have uh, collaborated with Jenny in the past Yeah. Uh, and play yeah. with her, so yeah. there's also... Well, <coughs> a little, yeah, there are definitely different time scales here. Like when you say, I've worked with Jenny in the past where we had dinner and then we went to the venue and then they set up microphones and the audience came in and we, and I worked with Jenny yeah. <laughs> in front of people. I and when, know. and, and in about 35 minutes, we were done working yeah. together. Well, and we went on holiday in Ireland together. We did. We went on a, <laughs> on a trip <laughs> together. Yeah. But yeah, I, when when you imagine people working together, you sort of think like, mm. we sat at a t typewriter together and like, bulk crumpled up pieces of paper no. and threw <laughs> them away. I mean, and that, that, that's that's a very kind of traditional idea of working together because, kind of, as an improvising musician, kind of working together might also just entail uh, a long stretch of concentration or doing something else mm. until the moment is there, you go on stage and then sort of you know what to do in, in that moment, but you need to sort of trust them. And in, in this situation, I was kind of curious, you come in here. Yeah, this was much longer. Before. This was yeah. a full week. No, it was like and 11 you, days. You, you get handed mm. Was it 11 days? 11 days, yeah. Man, 11 days. time. Wow. <laughs> Man. Yeah. <laughs> But I, I should say also, like, you're being really honest, like my granddad would be. Like, mm. oh, yes, you get paid mm. for, you know, <laughs> making that music. And the, you know, I, I think it's also, like, I've known you and we've played together on and off since 2012. Mm. And so I have to say when Tim's text was mm. coming through, mm coming through on the email, mm. I would start to read it and I would hear your mm. voice in my head, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. and, and I would sort of, and I would play around with it and make weird demo versions that mm. I would be doing, trying to do an approximation <laughs> of your voice. Yeah, so, so I think it's, it's sort of, I think it's a different way. I suppose yeah. it's maybe saying there's a different way of working, you know, and, and, mm. and sort of we spent a lot of time playing with the text, trying different things out and saying, okay, well, this fits with this. I mean, literally till the day before you arrived, mm -hmm. we were like, oh, let's, in two of our favorite bits, we were like, let's interleave them. And then we say, yeah. hey, Una, can you pan us apart on the stereo and our voices drift apart? So mm. I, it's not just us as the musicians. There's also mm. Una Monaghan, the sound designer, Aideen Cosgrove, the lighting designer, Emily Moore, the producer. Mm. Like everybody that was in the room has a part to play. Mm. And it's a community. Yeah, they all have a damn opinion. <laughs> <laughs> that's the, that's the, that's the, that's the, the only one that really bothers me is don't slouch. Because I have a hard time not going. <laughs> You're really good at that, oh, not I'm, slouching. Yeah. I'm modeling that right now, though. Yeah. See, just, you know. the and um, yeah. the piece is also, you're using nice you. uh, Jenny different ways of making sure that the piece is kind of variable mm -hmm. in, in time duration. Well, um, there's no time code, mm. you know, mm. there's just no stopwatch. So mm. it is going by how everybody feels in the room. And again, that's to do with sort of the way free improvisers listen. Mm. Um, uh, so that's, 
that's important that it can be flexible so instead of having hard cuts in the video mm -hmm. I think there's only a couple of different clicks but it's all cued and I cue all the video on stage so that yes. you know I'm listening to so what's going on in, term, in terms of you cue it when you think this is the right time yeah, or and I'm not can when hear it's 7 minutes 18 seconds exactly uh, so I can hear okay Lee and Inger are setting this thing up oh that sounds fantastic mm -hmm. or even yeah. think oh that person's drifting out a little longer than the last time so let's wait so it's listening it's just listening mm -hmm. like a free yeah. improviser will listen and being allowed to take the liberties and also knowing that like everybody will everybody will sort of deal with it D so do you know what i mean there's certain modules in your composition that you combine mm -hmm. and that set a kind of a general structure for the piece. yeah definitely i mean i have like there have to be because with 11 days if we'd had six weeks like a traditional theater production mm -hmm. then you can come in and say okay let's all just go day one let's just go to the natural history museum mm. you, you yeah. know but but we mm. so there has to be it's it's going to be impossible to actually get it over the finish line without you know without the structure so when we came there was like an 11 scene structure with mm. different topics mm. with different video for each with text with text appendices with folders of sounds all sorts of different material um, and then we just worked on the scenes in the mm. room some of them are much more um, some of them are like I call them nodes like mm. they're quite structured and mm. some of them we really came up with different ideas or mm. we're like that's amazing can you do more of that for this person mm. and, and everybody was contributing and everybody had suggestions as well so it's like it's really nice for me because you know at one point you were like the last bit we need to mm. you know and, and people would say I think this bit's working this way so you feel like also you have a it's, it's sort of you have expertise from multiple people coming in yeah. and, and everybody's invested in it as a result. So I really like working like this. Yeah, there is, it is, this is radically different from a top-down structure. Oh. It's very, do you get to say rhizomatic? Is that what that means? Where mm -hmm. it's like, It'll sound very sort of, if like, you do. I, I don't even know what it means. <laughs> <laughs> like someone said, it's, it's, awesome, right? it's yeah. like a sponge, Martin. <laughs> and it's sort of like a sponge in that there's yeah. like little mm -hmm. units that all sponge. interact kind of instead of the conductor telling you what to do you know and the master text and the master dramaturg and the you know it is uh yeah it's been a much more you know it sounds kind of hippie or whatever like you like we all have opinions and they're equally valid they weren't all i mean all it's hard <laughs> not to go they're like so is that okay jen mm -hmm. Yeah, but you realize yeah. that, like, you know, as it went on, because I, I it think was okay. Yeah, yeah. like, yeah. no, because the, the thing is, I think that it's very difficult because there has to be some sort of structure, or just mm -hmm. it'll just fall apart because yeah. it is difficult to get this. You know, there has to be like Emily who produced it. There has to be somebody going. This is the time everybody needs to be here. You, you know, sort mm. of a thing, and and sort of. Uh, and but we tried the other thing we did also is that like we brought people in whenever we could whenever it was a possibility mm. um, so like David Helbig came in for a day and watched and gave feedback mm. and even Ivan's wife Bauer came and she's a choreographer and gave feedback so I these sort of ways of working from that are a little bit more mm. from the dance theater world yep. I love them you know it's brilliant for somebody to come in and say that works really well I'd love to see it for three minutes longer or this bit I'm not sure what's going on because then you don't have to think you have to be responsible for every single thing I think about I read I was reading this Matt Dryhurst talking on Twitter about how he said you know we've gotten rid of the idea that there should be a producer for a record and that maybe that's a good mm. role y you know what I mean mm. uh, like everything's consolidated into mm. the one Gesamtkunstwerk artist mm. that does everything they make their own music they produce their own music and I actually really love working with people. I love being in a sound mm. studio. Like Una Monaghan, the sound engineer, has brought so much to the project mm. because she knows us innately now. Yeah. And, and so she's an equal member. Aideen Cosgrove's lighting, we're all like really excited, you know, about what's going to happen because, you know, she's, she's an e a valid, like a completely equal member to the musician. So it's just a different way of working. Yeah. Mm. 